Dom, we're three weeks into the season. How have things gone from your perspective in the background? Um, I think things have gone okay. There's things we could definitely do a lot better, but um, we've had some ups and we've had some downs, so there's things that we've gotten a lot better at and still things we need to work on. We're going to bring in Deja McClendon again this week, outside hitter, to talk a little bit about Dom's role on the floor as a libero. Deja, take it away. Hi, Dom. Uh, so can you explain to the new volleyball fans out there, what exactly is a libero? Uh, what does your position entail? Um, being libero is obviously the person on the court that wears a different color jersey. They play only in the back row, and your role is made mainly passing and defense and uh, first contact. Can you explain uh, to us the difference between your role as a passer and as a defender? What are some things that you have to think about? As a passer, you always want to think about giving your setter the best possible ball so she can run the best offense she can. And as a defender, your, your job is to prevent the other team from scoring and keep the ball off the ground. What do you think the hardest part is about your position? Um, a lot of people don't really realize how much really goes into being libero. It's not just back row, but it's communicating with your hitters and letting people around you know that even if things aren't going the best, you know, keep them calm and push on, I guess you could say. Explain to us a little bit about uh, what you communicate to uh, us as outside hitters and as hitters um, about where, the placement of the ball. What do you do to help us out? Um, when I communicate with my hitters, I try to let them know um, what shots are open, where the defense isn't, um, how many blockers are up, and give them the best possibility of scoring. Dom, tell us how do you communicate to the hitters when you're in a packed gym and it's a loud situation and it's in the middle of the play. How do you communicate to your hitters exactly what, where to put the ball? Um, well, that's a tough question because, like you said, it's packed. There's tons of people screaming and yelling, but you try to be the loudest you can, and hopefully they hear you. And if it doesn't work out necessarily for that point, right after that point, you let them know, hey, if the ball's set here again, this is a, an option that you have. In. Good, good, good. Yep. Nice ball. Good talk. Right here, you got team. Watch drop. And done.